Hello guys, Stephanie here. Um, I did a previous video and was talking about how um, through doing that ancestor DNA test, I determined that my uh, father was not actually my father. And uh, turns out I had absolutely no clue who my biological father was. But the evidence was right here uh, in the DNA test. It was just real hard and I, should, I guess may have well have been in a different language because I had that much clue of trying to figure out who these people were that was listed and figure out who my biological father was. So I have an Android phone and this is my Ancestry app, Ancestry DNA app on my phone. Okay, um, this is what it looks like, my name and uh, the menu of things you can choose. Now, when I, I want to click on DNA... Now, um, when you open up your um, account here under DNA, um, it will give you introduction, um, you know, all that stuff. But what you're really going to want to do, what I'm showing you in this video is how I went about navigating uh, my maternal and paternal uh, family. And this is how I would have done it in any way. This is how I would have went about doing it. Um, so it shows you your ethnicity right here um, and all that fun information. That's why I originally wanted the, the uh, DNA test is I wanted to see my total ethnicity. But then, you know, out of curiosity, it also shows you your DNA matches. And so uh, it shows you all of this information. Now, and it shows you little, some little thumbnail pictures and all that. It, it's really very interesting. But right here, this big green button, view all DNA matches. Now I'm gonna show my family, um, my family names that how they're listed on Ancestry. Um, this is all public, there's nothing private about this. And if any of these people wanted their information to be private, um, they could have very easily marked their information to be private. And so um, this is all out there. Um, for anybody to see and anybody to find. So um, I don't really see the harm in um, letting their names be seen. Um, it's for the purpose of demonstrating how you might uh, go about making sense of your DNA matches. Okay, DNA matches, sort by relationship, shared ancestors. These are all buttons you can click on right here. Shared ancestors, new, starred, regions. Now, if you click on the regions um, tab, that's really cool. It'll show you your ethnicity, countries, and all of that. Um, and it'll give you lots of uh, breakdown and information about those countries. Um, okay. Now, here, now, originally, when I first did this, I didn't have anybody listed as close family. Um, nor that I, did I have that first cousin match that appeared at that time. Um, the closest relative, in fact, I didn't have this first um, pink match under second cousin. It started right there at the top. I had that person as a match, and it's showing right here next to it, blue. So that means that that is a male who was a second cousin match. Um... I'm actually not going to click on theirs. Um, they're the most apt to not want their information shared. But anyway, here we go. So um, it shows that she's a good second cousin match. And then it shows a number here, uh, 489CM shared. Uh, that is actually Cinnamorgans, and that's just the amount of DNA that her and I share between us. Now. Each relationship that you may have with a person listed, you will share a certain degree of Cinnamorgans with them, which can only represent uh, very specific, very certain relationships. Um, like her for a second cousin, I shared 489. Uh, then on up, uh, second cousin. This is actually, I believe, more like a half second cousin, but anyway. Uh, 498 I mean there is a leeway range also um, up here a second cousin I know uh, through now getting to know these people that um, she is my dad's uh, my dad's first cousin 
And then this right here, this man by the name of Kent, uh, first cousin, he is in fact, as it turns out, he is my first cousin. He came back at 788 Cinemorgans. And then this person, which finally had come out to be my close family match, which I now know to be a half-sister, um, we shared 1,590 Cinemorgans. But, okay, back to the topic here at hand. I have a habit of entering away, so I apologize for that. Okay, so didn't have her, didn't have him, didn't have her. Started with him right there. So you, what you have to do at this point, um, like if you have no clue who's who, um, you can message the person um, by clicking on their name. It will open up. It'll show you um, how long they've been a member when they last logged in. Um, you can send them a message through right there. And it will show you a little further details. Predicted relationship, second cousin. Um, she is, in fact, she is my first cousin's daughter. Shows possible range, first to second cousin. And that is based on the Cinemorgans that we share between us. Um, and it goes on something. You can click on what does this mean. Uh, it shows you the confidence. It is extremely high confidence that we are um, within that range of relationship. Now, if you click on that little eye, that black circle there with the eye in it, it shows you amount of shared DNA, 489 Cinemorgans. Now, uh, then you can click on what does this mean. Um, there's no point to do that right now, but that is where it all lies with figuring it all out. You can also kind of look at the regions uh, and compare regions in helping you to determine, okay, what you need to do, well, what I needed to do is I needed to figure out who all, I know my mom, I was raised by my mother, um, I wasn't adopted or anything like that, so I knew my mom's family name, which was or is Middleton. So what I was trying to do is figure out, okay, because I had never heard of this person before. Um, she was kind of an unknown child of my first cousin. Um, well, unknown to me. Um, and so, you know, when I first seen her name, I had no clue. Is she from my mother? His family, uh, the Middleton family, is she from my biological father's family? So um, I kind of took note of the fact that these are what we have in common, those um, regions. Now, down here is where it gets interesting. Surnames, matches, and locations. Uh, those are going to be key things here in just a little bit. But first, I just wanted to show you this. Um, you can also click compare, and it will show you her and I. Um, a little more information where you can um, compare the countries of origin and, you know, just how similar uh, the two of you are. And it goes on to tell you a lot more information. And then you can go on to look shared matches. And these are further people that you have um, in common with them. Which would also mean that they're a member of that same family. But let's go back. Um, okay. Go back to this list because I had no clue. You know, like I said, who was who? No clue at all. So let's go back, view my DNA matches. Now, she, like I said, she wasn't there, he wasn't there, she wasn't there. Started with him right there at the top. Now, with knowing my mother and knowing my mother's family's maiden name, that maiden name is Middleton. So, you know, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know what to do. So what I started doing was scrolling scrolling and scrolling and scrolling I mean this took a long time because I had so many matches it was ridiculous um but uh let's see I don't know if I'm gonna be able to 
get all the way down here in this video or not because there are so many matches but I would really love to be able to show you where I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled until finally I noticed a Middleton somebody I still don't know for sure who that person is but somebody that shared my mother's maiden name of Middleton and so once I saw that name, you know, okay, that's that's mom's family. And my cat's going crazy. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Click on it again. I may or may not be able to find this, but I would really like to be able to show you how I went from there. But that's, that's essentially what it was, is I was able to click on their name. I've got so darn many closer matches now. Um, since um, the beginning that this one has just got buried so far down the list I mean, this this is growing. I'm getting so many more and more and more genetic matches. People, additional people testing. Um, it's crazy. It's just growing at a um, ridiculous rate. Um, so, oh, darn it. I'm trying and trying to show you my starting point, where it all started for me, how I was able to separate the two now if you don't have a common last name that you can find um all you can do is pick one and then go to shared matches um and then go about separating them that way but darn it <laughs> i'm really really wanting to show you where my ridiculously long process started yeah, I have such a long, long list. It's crazy. But again, uh, let me reiterate the fact that while this looks extremely difficult to weed through all of these names, originally for me, it wasn't this many names. It wasn't this, you know, the list wasn't this long. Um, and so, you know, it wasn't this difficult and lots and lots and lots of people don't have lists this long. Um, <laughs> why mine ended up being so long, I don't know and we'll probably never know. Um, okay. And then I keep being distracted because people are constantly still testing and some that I haven't even seen yet. So I'm like, oh, new match. <laughs> but, you know, while I'm looking, this started out as just, you know, a, a curiosity. Uh, wondering what my ethnicity was. You know, my mom has passed away. Her mother, my grandmother, has passed away. And so, um, you know, I didn't really know. All I could hear was, you know, some vague clues of what somebody thought they heard of, you know, our ancestors came from this or that. Um, small amounts ended up being right, and a lot of it was wrong, as it turns out. So, you know, I'm glad it started out just as a curiosity of wanting to know my ethnicity. And then um, when I did, boy, <laughs> you know, the saying, uh, careful what you wish for, that really came into play with me taking this uh, DNA test. Took the test just to see my um, ethnicity and then um, found no members of my biological father's family. And they have a very specific, very long German name, uh, which jumps out at you. I mean, it's impossible to overlook that. Uh, but I dug, just like I'm doing right now, dig and dig and dig. Okay, here we go. Page after page. Could not find that last name anywhere. So I knew uh, there's no way. And even in my ethnicity, there's no, there. it doesn't didn't lead back to Germany. So, 
yeah, I knew something wasn't right because they're 100% German. Okay, right here, see the Delbert Middleton? Um, and true enough, that is my fourth cousin. I recognize that um, because that is my mother's uh, family right there. That's her maiden name. So that is an excellent starting point. I can guarantee 100% that is my mom's family. So when I click on that name, it opens up um, their statistic, or, you know, their particular information. And I can match the uh, regions of origin and ours, ours matches real closely, very closely. So then um, to further weed people out, see down here, surnames, matches, locations. If you click on matches, it will show you your shared matches with that person. And because I was able to absolutely determine that is from my mother's family and that is my mother's name, when I click on matches, it will show me all of the other names from that family or that you have genetic relation to. So I knew when I clicked that, all these other names that appeared were automatically from my mother's family. So what I went through is I went through and I highlighted um, highlighted these stars here with a um, orange highlight so that I could separate at a quick glance, separate that family or those family members. All right, so once I had went through and I had put a star next to all of the people on my list who were from my mother's family. I then wanted to go back to the beginning DNA. Well, and don't you know, let's see. Okay, go back to the beginning of my list. Okay, and the beginning was right here. And guess what? See right there that first person? Okay, the blue, I think I already said the blue to the left, the big blue circle means that it's a male. Um, and then on down here, uh, the Roseanne, uh, she's in pink. So, you know, that's an indication she's a female. But okay, right here, this first name, that's a male. He did not have an orange star highlighted, so that was a very quick assumption that, okay, this person is from my biological father's family. And because of the fact that um, it showed the relationship of second cousin, when I click on them, and again, it doesn't give their, their full name, so, um, you know, their specific information that they've clearly wanted to keep private isn't really out there. Um, it shows their region of origin, origin. Um, and right here, it did it show, let's see. Let me click on the eye because I want to see how many cinnamorgans we share because it shows we're extremely high, the confidence rating of our relationship given. We have 498 cinnamorgans, and it says right here, what does this mean? And I'm not sure if it said the specifics. Yeah. And it didn't. Maybe it's just not wanting to open up correctly on my phone. Okay, and it goes on to give you examples and explain the Cinemorgans and all of that. So, um, here we are. So then it was able to be... Um, Look for narrowed down a little bit more. I clicked on him, then I went to matches, and I'm gonna see which people it shows me. Okay, again, she wasn't there, she wasn't there, she was there. And again, I want to um, say once again, I know I've said it several times, but this person shown here, they have intentionally shown their name instead of using you know, something a little more private, like initials or whatever. She put her name out there, so I'm, I would assume that it's okay. Um, it says she's 
possibly my second or third cousin. So she was a really, really good person to reach out to um, through messaging them, private messaging them. Um, also, I would suggest in this process, if you can find a good name like this person here, and this is what I did, is I reached out to her on Facebook. I took her name and I went to Facebook and typed it in. And I tried to do um, a search and I was able to come up with her, find her and contact her. Um, let's see where he was at. Okay, and I wasn't able to find this one on Facebook, obviously, because it's not a name listed. But I was able to private message them on here and they really did help me and give me a lot of information. Which then, um, through further investigation, had led me to um, this lady here, shown on the top line, second cousin match. Um, able to, um, long story short, narrow her down and end up talking to her on the telephone. Um, not had not that she had DNA tested, but that um, that family had led me to her. And with talking to her, she was really curious about um, relationship. Oh, what it, I remember what it was now. Um, her right there, this uh, lady Melissa, she, um, I had spoke to her first from on here, like I just said. And then she led me the direction of somebody um, older than her in the family that she thought might could be of help. So I ended up speaking to this lady, Eunice. Um, who I later found out was my my biological father's first cousin. Um, Eunice was able to help me um, help me out by submitting her DNA to ancestry and testing. And in her testing, that kind of further helped narrow it down to what where in the family my father would lie. Because see, she come up as a, a first to second cousin match and that confidence was extremely high so that tells me that I'm going in the right direction um so then uh this person was able to and she was on Facebook so I was also able to talk with her on Facebook um as well as the telephone okay and then um, through this, we were able to um, come up with the most likely family that it narrowed down to based on her being a good, close first or second cousin. And then, you know, because she had to look at her cousins. Um, my biological father would have to be uh, one of her cousins, most in all probability. So she was able to help me do a process of elimination down from there, which really was not that difficult. So then it led down to a family of, let's see, what was it, four? Four or five people, um, three of which were um, the only possibilities of males in that family. Um, one of them uh, was severely disabled, and that was a, you know, I could automatically mark them off as they're not my father. So then um, it led between two two males. Um, the one was... Uh, way too young um that was highly highly unlikely. Um, sorry about that highly unlikely to not be my father because of his age so that left his brother well after speaking to the brother um and finding out more specific information i was able to contact the person whom would well, actually was able to come in contact, well, was told that, oh, well, this guy has a daughter. So it was ended up able to talk, contact her on Facebook and then talk with her on the phone. And we compared notes. And sure enough, um, <laughs> my mother was where her father was at the time frame I was conceived. So yeah, uh, another shocking thing, her and I both um, our half sisters and our mothers were um, pregnant with us at the exact same time frame, the same year. Quite interesting, but yeah. So um, it was another state up north, and uh, both there at the same time. So that was a dead giveaway. Also, so then I had this um, lady Jennifer, which has turned out to be my half sister. I talked her into also submitting her DNA to Ancestry to test. 
and it came back possible range close family to first cousin now that's just being generous in the whole realm of earthly possible connection um, but the most probability is close family and then when you look at click on that name and you go down here um, you can compare your regions that you're from which is a you know a dead match perfect match um, then you click on that I right there it will show you the amount of cinnamorgans you have in common 1590 that is a strong half-sister the only other relationship that that could be based on that number the shared DNA that her and I have in common would be a niece nephew or a grandparent well clearly she's my age um, she could not be my grandparent and she couldn't also be my niece or nephew so anyway when she tested and it came back as that that number is a strong predictor of um a half sibling now there just really wasn't nothing else that she could be so yeah then uh, once we got that back we knew um it just all fit together and made perfect sense that, yes, yeah, she's my half-sibling. So, in kind of a little bit of a confusing way, I didn't really plan this out as well as I should have before I recorded it. But this is how I did it, basically. Um, it was made a little bit easier because I actually originally used my computer, not my phone. But um, this is how, in general, a person can go about separating the two. Um, I hope I didn't make this way too confusing to be of any help. I don't know. But that's what it was. So that's also, that is how Jennifer um, become being the close family listing right there first. Oh, and then all the while, uh, Kent, my first cousin, showed up. I didn't know he existed. He is actually my uncle's child that I, again, did not know existed. But he knew his who his biological father was. So in talking to him, I hunted, I hunt him down on Facebook as well. And he happened to know who his biological father was. So we kind of compared notes and stuff. And yeah, he's my first cousin. Um, Eunice here, uh, based on 585 Cinnamorgans and with talking to her, she is my biological father's um, first cousin. Uh, this CRB is my biological father's first cousin, first half cousin. I don't know. Somewhere right in there. And Janaya, um, she is my second cousin because she is my first cousin's daughter. Now, I've not made contact with this Roseanne, but I have looked her up on Facebook and I have a family on my Facebook that it shows we share in common. Um, so yeah, she is related to me as well. She is, uh, and she seems to fit as a second cousin. And then Megan, she has showed up as a second cousin and that is absolutely correct. I know her to be from my, or she is my first cousin's daughter. So second cousin is fitting. Um, Ethan, I found Ethan. He, it is the same deal. He is actually a half sibling to her as it turns out. They, I don't think they knew one another, but yeah. Um, and it shows I share 400 Cinnamorgans with her, 399 with Ethan. And like I said, they're half siblings. So on their test, they would each show up on the others as a close match. Um, I guess it would show up sibling if you shared the same mother and same father. Um, with a case of a half sibling, I think, I guess it just shows, um, um, close family. But anyway, uh, in Roxanne, I, she is a second cousin as well, uh, to my mother's side of the family. Um, now Melissa here, she is Eunice, my dad's first cousin she is her niece so i mean so on and so forth you get the message i mean you get the the gist of it um that's how it goes so anyway hopefully uh, this can kind of help you figure it out but the main thing again what you would do is uh, in, uh, to kind of recap it 
Just look at your first match that shows up on your DNA match list. Um, well, no, if you don't know like who a biological parent is, you would have to search through and search through and try to find a, a common family name. Um, if you couldn't do that, then what you would need to do is just, you know, say like click on the very first name listed, go from there. Like if I didn't know who she was or which side of the family she even belonged on. Okay, she's there. And then I would have to click matches right there and just look at all the people that I matched in common. Whoops, she does not belong highlighted right there. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, all the people that should be left or that should be in common with Jennifer should belong to that same family. And so this is all from, say, like, would be my all my mother, all my father. These are all them people listed. Now, um, what I could also do to figure out as a starting point, you know, figure it out the same way for the other parent, is figure out the next closest relation who has not shown up. Like, um, that hadn't shown up on that list. Like, uh, for example, if I went down through all the people, um, you know, I could click on the next person, for example, and then go down to matches on him and look at all the people we share in common. And it is not the same people that were shared in common with the other person. So obviously this is from the other parent's family. And then you could go and look up these names on Facebook and make contact. Or on here, you can message one another. And you can kind of work it down from there. And it's relatively easy if you have a good um, first, ma first cousin match or close family match, first cousin, second cousin. Those are relatively easy to work backwards and figure out who your biological parent is. But, you know, if it's further out than a second cousin... Um, I don't know. I would imagine that it would be incredibly more difficult. But anyway, there you have it. I hope that this has been of help and I've not been way too confusing. Um, so anyway, there you have it. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.